Hello everybody, Shift here again with another backpack bounce run and today I'm gonna be trying to do the crafting build with the berserker and specifically I want to create a cross blade run. So let's do it. We want to get two wooden swords, six whetstones and two uh, gloves of haste. That's pretty much the main build. After that we want to also find five four or five um, breastplates, the common breastplates, as we will need those for specifically getting a uh, damage immunity. So we're gonna roll into those specific things we want. And we found backpack here. I'm gonna buy that and roll into. Found a whetstone sheep. Found another wooden sword. The build is a go. I need four more whetstones two and two gloves of face. That's very good. This is going very well right now. Uh, this is not min maxed. If we lose because of one or two life difference, then this was the mistake. I should have had the whetstone on the left of that. Uh, and we won. Wow. wow. <laughs> Almost last there, the opponent having one last life but we did win at the end nice 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 we're gonna switch these for sure let's also get this one so we got the hero sword and let's get the second um wooden sword i would say the wooden swords inside the zone over the forging hammer and honestly i want a banana but i'm not gonna be able to i need the banana man i need the banana and i will need it at the end of the game too so we will we are pretty much forced into banana here and roll into our redstone please or at least inventory space inventory space is also pretty important the banana is needed because we're gonna have energy issues in general until I find the uh, burn, uh, the um, until I can create the cross blade. So at the very very end, we're not gonna have energy issues. Until then, we should have energy issues. Come on, banana, heal us! Ah, nice, we won because of the banana. Let's go. And we got the hero sword, which should increase our DPS by a sizable amount. Let's go here. How much money do I gain? Nine. That's very low. Roll into whetstone. Nice. And a cheap banana. That's very disappointing. But it all is what it is. Um, I would say I wait by the cheap banana. And then... Uh, honestly, I want to also get the whetstones out of the way. Do I want the, the, the cheap banana? I, I want to buy all of these. I want to buy all of these. We will need energy. But although, although at the same time... At the same time, I just need to also find my backpack slots. This is pretty bad. Let's go for the whetstone here to get the win going. And uh, yeah, we're gonna obviously create the second hero sword. And then we're gonna go for the gloves of face and whatnot. I, I really need to also find my... Um, my, uh, what are they called? The um, defensive stuff. <laughs> the armor pieces. We lost. We lost against the burst build. Also, they had spikes, which we were not able to handle. Nice. Let's go here and here. We found a nice love glove. And we found even more inventory space, which is really important at the end of the day. I would like this to be boosting two items if possible. Wait. This is gonna get crafted to... No, 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 no. I want to create a uh, falcon blade here. Uh, this is doing less damage. This is doing more damage. So right now we're going to go here. And I would like to also give the attack speed to something else. Like the banana for example. So let's transfer this all over. Let's give the attack speed to the banana. And let's go. Uh, yeah, we are falling a bit behind here. But I only need to find three more whetstones. And one more gloves of haste for the falcon blade. The um, cross blade. So the main weapon is going to be ready. In general, we're pretty good here. Uh, the main issue is going to be finding those defensive um, armors. That's the main issue right now because armors are also uncommon. So us finding them is going to be pretty rare. Wow, we found a really corrupted crystal. Or useless for us though. Roll them. Find, the pinky, find another redstone. Let's go. Found the second hero sword. Uh, attack speed. I would say yes for the crossblade specifically. But I'm going to roll because right now we're still in common. Yeah, 45% to find common. So right now is when we're going to find the armor piece which we're still missing it's okay i'm gonna survive this uh, maybe i should have also gone for the helmet there that does say we take less damage early game we're gonna lose this one flame is the, mo the most powerful build as always ah it was close it was close they had 25 more max life and that is what made the difference although the 25 more max life is obviously part of them nice we found the thing i wanted the leather armor so we're gonna buy the leather armor right now and we're gonna buy this and this we found also gloves of face now i'm literally missing two whetstones literally only two whetstones are missing let's also go for a wooden sword here pull this one down go like this uh although no 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 no. we're gonna definitely buff this thing twice yeah let's do that let's buff this thing twice by doing this, I can also buff the stone at the same time. Yeah, all of these are multi-buffed. Very nice. This is good, good, good. And I got the Falcon Blade. I'm super happy about it. I'm literally missing two Weststones. And we got the build. And this guy has Dragon Scale Armor before us. Uh, leather Boots would also really be fitting the build. Uh, for that matter. Actually, I would like to get Leather Boots as this gives us no anti-blindness. You know, um, luck. We should be winning this because they already activated their low life ability. We haven't even lost life yet. Yeah, we destroyed these guys. We destroyed them. Easy enough. Easy enough. 
And kaboom, got my dragon skin armor. So that, this is during battle rage, take 15% of this damage. Battle rage and then general also says you take 20% of this damage. So right now my battle rage is at 35% of this damage. And here we're gonna get the falcon blade. Uh, not this one, this one nice. Falcon blade is already ready. Uh, I can use the stone here. Let's get inventory space. As I said, that's really important. And now I need to find... Oof, we found a leather boot here that I want. I want the leather boot. Let's roll once maybe to find... No, I didn't find a whetstone. It's actually not rolled for no reason. Found also inventory space. Let's go. Whetstones are gonna be very rare now. And all the same goes with dragon scale armor too. We want those, but if they don't appear, they don't appear. What can I say? Uh, they are healing a lot through 3 Vampirism. I don't think I'm going to be able to eat through 3 Vampirism. We don't have any scaling whatsoever anyway. So if they beat us through normal fighting, they're going to beat us throughout the rest of the game too. Nice. It's okay. Lose one more life, but get the life back. And now we're going to go into the class. And the class is going to be this thing, Anvil. Items crafted generate a flame. The flame is going to mainly be used for starting with heat. That's the main reason how I'm going to use that, so that we have more attack speed. And then for each crafted item, the um, triangle item, for each crafted item, the star slots, the triangle slot the weapon is going to gain 2 damage and use 3% of stamina. So right now, uh, this is a crafted item itself. Uh, by the way, in case you don't know, the Falcon Blade attacks twice every time it attacks, so it has double damage. Uh, more than it says and also it at, uh, gives items 3% more attack speed now, all the items around it so that's everything this gives the two damage everything around it and this here as i just mentioned gives uh, weapons plus two damage for each crafted weapon the star so right now we have two crafted weapons that's the hero sword and the falcon blade this is also crafted boom three craft weapons so that's six damage and nine percent less stamina for specifically the falcon blade and uh, definitely by the whetstone we just found inventory space because that's going to be needed and uh, I, honestly, I would like to get the Cap of Resilience being part of the build as a defensive option, but I don't think we're going to have that much time to find all of that. The leather boots are going to be needed, though, so let's definitely keep that going. 20% on the commons. There is no reason for us to reroll if we, if we don't want to reroll if there is only a 20% chance to get a common item. And we should have these fights now. Uh, because now we have a Falcon Blade that does 12 to 13 damage and attacks twice every time it hits. Nice. Yeah, we're eating through them. We just drank our potion already. They're gone. They're gone. We haven't even activated my attack speed ability. Hunter is gone. Easy enough. One more whetstone, please, to go. Pawn another leather armor. Very nice. Let's buy that. And let's also buy the leather boots now. Uh, there is no rush anymore for commons. Let's roll them. Pawn another banana, which I would say yes. And another leather boot, which I would also say yes. And also good inventory space. Let's get the banana. So that we have a bit more coverage on the speed aspect of this game. Uh, energy issues, less energy issues, what I tried to say. Now let's also get other boots next. I want to be... No, 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 no. I didn't want to craft these first. You know, I think I can change it. Yep, nice. It's going to become Dragon Skin Elmore. I really enjoy that you can change what's going to get crafted. For Dragon Skin Elmore, now with two of them, we're going to have 50% of this damage taken when we enter Frenzy. So that's already really nice. They are playing with Goobert, so they have a lot of healing. But that does not seem to show here. They are losing. Yeah, they lost. It's good. They're gone. But they have Vampirism now, but it's already too late. Very nice. Very nice. And I got another one of those dragon skill armors. So now I just generated a flame. So with the flame, uh, first of all, I can create the burning blade, but I don't want to do that. I will have at the start of the battle plus one heat. That's it. Normally, you can definitely create other stuff like burning blades and whatnot and have a, you know, different build going on. But I want to go the path of we just start with flame. That's it. Just, just get more attack speed right away. And we're going to get another boot to craft even more. Uh, I would say yes to the fanny pack. Increase the attack speed of Falcon Blade. And actually, mm, honestly, not really. Let's roll again. I want to find my whetstone, my final whetstone. Oop, found a good old corrupted crystal. That's on sale even. Let's go on. Let's go on. I would like to just find my more dragon scale armors, more boots, and more anything else. Oh, they are going to be blinding us, so that's pretty bad for us. We don't have that much anti-blind. We have two luck gain from the two leather boots, but that's pretty much it. And we destroyed them when we entered Frenzy. 19 poison there was not enough to destroy us. Nice, got a craft item, therefore another flame. Let's get another dragon scale boots. Let's also get this. I would like to get this for the starting immunity, but I don't think I need this. Roll them. Pawn cheese. Gain maximum health and a random buff. Could also combo with the Gooberit. Uh, the Gooberit, by the way, is this boy. Wait. This boy. So, 5 active items activation, gain 15 maximum health and 2 random buffs. Uh, nah, let's force the thing I want to force. Pond even more backpack, we're gonna buy that. And now I'm gonna get this, because 
Now I can create the helmet I wanted previously. We're gonna sell the stone. We're gonna buy the stone skin potion. Which, by the way, the stone skin potion is gonna fire... Uh, oh, we have double... Wait a minute. We have two times the... This thing. <laughs> the, what is it called? This the potion belt. So, add four... Uh, first potion inside consumed, gain a random buff. Nice, free random buff. Let's also definitely put this craft item here. Nice, so this continues gaining power. And uh, this potion here I'm gonna combine with the helmet that I previously mentioned that I want to combine it with. This is a phoenix build, so we need to destroy them as fast as possible so we get rid of all their flames. Uh, although, no, they're consuming their flames anyway. Uh, we won here. The phoenix just triggered, they lost all their flames, and they're done. They're done, easy enough. Because we have double weapons, double hits, and double damage. Boom, got crafted going. By the way, if I ever hit half-life, both of these are gonna trigger right away. We're gonna get 40 and 40, 80 armor, and then this is gonna also trigger for even more armor. Roll them. Found a spike color that's extremely important for this build. Because it gives us two more uh, seconds of immunity. And by the way, these here give you a uh, resist to ice, which is gonna beat the ice build, as we already have two of these. And then also they give us cleanse three debuffs, so we're also gonna get rid of any blindness we might take or poison, and then also gain important uh, shielding. I would say you join, but because that is not really needed, let's go here. And I would like to surround this thing better, so let's actually surround the thing better with more crafted items, is the idea, of course. You should go here. And uh, I should also put that there, so let's actually push everything one up and uh, flip the potions away. You go like this. And you go like this. And honestly, I would say you go like this and you go here. That doesn't make sense. No, 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 that doesn't make sense. You go here. And these can be wherever. Nice, I think I have all the craft items around it right now. So right now it's gaining 4 plus 2, 6 damage uh, six times two that's 12 damage and six times three that's 18 percent less stamina cost on this thing we're gonna obviously buy that i'm still hoping for the whetstone found it and also found the cover resilience uh, to get added to the potion instead of the potion the potion belt but still we got the thing i wanted nice 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 so the build is ready now i also have three lives so we should be able to survive wait a minute if we don't lose now in the next two fights then we're gonna be able to survive I mean, I need to win one of all of these. This guy has three whetstones just chilling around for damage. Okay, they're blinding us, which is pretty bad. Uh, we're not really scaling damage, just to be clear. I only become very powerful when I hit this uh, damage immunity. Right now, I'm not even losing life. When I'm in this mode, I'm not even losing life. And we destroy them. And we destroy them. The moment I enter Frenzy, we just win. Very nice. How did I gain 14 coins? Did I already win? Why did I gain 14 coins? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna definitely buy the whetstone, as that instantly gave us the hero sword, hero long sword, and that's gonna give us the falcon blade. We also got a good old flame. We're getting flame no matter what we combine. Now we're gonna get inventory space. And that was a mistake, of course. I don't really want to sell anything for this. Uh, roll once, maybe. Yeah, roll once. And we found backpack slot, might as well throw that in. I don't have a stone, let's go. Also, starting with heat obviously gives us more starting speed. So we start with four heat right now. Therefore, we gain four speed. Uh, so these things attack a bit faster. Oh, they're at half... No, we're about to go at half health. They are the god build. Let's see who wins. They just became immune. I'm also immune. They don't have better immunity, though. Look at how much money they have going on for them. Look at how many buffs they have. We lost. We lost. Fair enough. But now we're going halfway there for the Falcon Blade build. Faboom! Got my hero longsword. Uh, I would like this to be here and this to be here. Nice. So this now got more damage. Once again, this is doing two attacks per second. You go here, so these are all buffed now. Yeah, I'm literally missing only two spots for this. And all the craft items are connected, so it's not like we're missing anything. Let's definitely buy this. And I would like to get the the uh, lifesteal gloves. So let's also definitely add gloves here. I would say you should go like this. I'm gonna give the bananas the um, the attack speed boost right now roll them and we found another color extremely important extremely important yes the color is more important than the attacks but i will buy the fanny pack though and we will need to reorganize at some point to fit somehow the falcon blade inside the fanny pack i think the fanny pack is most likely gonna go there or something we're gonna i'm gonna fit everything i got this yeah. i see i'm seeing this as oh this is a this is literally only flames in the four, four dragons 
Theoretically, we should win. It's literally only five dragons, man. We're immune right now. Still immune. The moment we run out of immunity, we lose, by the way. Wow. With immunity, we died. And I just got the Falcon Blade at the very final fight. And good thing is, we also found another leather armor. I'm saying immune, but we're not really immune. Now, now we got the Stone Skin Helmet. So, start of battle, reduce damage taken by 25%. That's very important. Let's get this. Let's also get this. Roll them. Found even more in the three space. Which is gonna definitely fit. Reorganize time. Okay, here we are back. Uh, right now, literally all the craft items are connected, other than the crossblade themselves, I guess, which could somehow fit like this, I would say. Oh, actually, I need the crossblade. No, the crossblade are touching the thing. I need them to. They could go here. Or, nah, this is the most they could go, maybe. And then I need to maybe fit this somehow like this, which isn't really possible right now. Uh, in a moment, we're gonna fit this a bit better, but for now, this fits. So the crossblade do the following. Start of battle, the star weapon, which is this thing, gets plus 10 damage. So this, instead of doing 2 to 5, is gonna be doing 12 to 15. Also, this has 0 stamina cost. And the triangle item gets 60% faster attack speed. That's specifically the banana, so we're gonna be healing fast. Now, and this thing on hit gains 1 damage and 3% attack speed. Right? So that's the main thing we want to be doing. This thing's scaling. And this is connected to right now 6 items. So that's 12 more damage flat and 18% less stamina cost flat. Theoretically, the banana should be attacking fast enough and both of these should be attacking fast enough for them to heal us uh, in a timely manner. This specific banana is also touching the attack speed ground on the on this thing. And then we also have two spiked colors that gives us two longer duration on the damage immunity. It's not damage immune. Right now it's 50% less damage taken. 30% from these two. And then... Um, another 20 from the base. So uh, let's see how this is gonna go. And we also have a uh, starting run of 7 flames. So that's another 7 times 2, 14% faster attack speed. So let's see how this goes. Let's see. If I win, I'm getting a life back. If I lose, we lose the run. Uh, at least I got the run up and ready. This is a poison build. We should be able to beat the poison build. Uh, they are anti. They are not really bursty. That's why we should be able to beat them. They're losing. We are losing. Yes, from the poison, but they lose now from just straight up dying. Nice, 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 nice. How much damage does this have? Thirty six to thirty nine. The DPS of this is fifty two. 52 DPS is a lot. Now, the idea in general, just to be clear about what the idea of the build is, 330 damage here and 150. The idea of the build is that I have this immunity thing lasting as long as it can last. I found my vampirism. Very nice. I want vampirism gloves, not dragon scale gloves. Um, so, the idea is I want my uh, this these things the dragon skin armors that's why i want four or five of them to give us damage immunity for long enough alongside the spiked colors that increase how long the damage immunity lasts until the crossblades just takes over and defeats the opponent because this is a scaling weapon uh i would i could go for the anti-poison potion but i don't think i need to i could also go with growing crown just for the cleansing but i have cleansing on the boots and i have three boots also i have lacking on the boots we should not really be missing as long as I have the boots. La uh, I would also like me to somehow fit. Let me try to reorganize a little bit here. Okay, here we are back. Uh, this is almost min maxed. I'm literally missing two spots. And uh, I don't have any more crafted items to throw in there anyway. So right now it's all, literally almost min maxed. And we're gonna also buy a coal because this thing has three inventory slots and we can just put burning coals on that, generating even more heat for us. Let's go. Now I got my life back. We should be able to, in general, go well. Especially because I have three of these 15% uh, damage taken. So right now my damage immunity is 65%. Whenever I hit the thing, I'm at 65% less damage taken for uh, seven, five, nine seconds. Nine seconds of 15... Yeah, 9 seconds of 65% less damage taken. And also a big shield gain when that happens. And also attack speed gain. They're gone. 50, 45, they're gone. They're gone. They are gone, So Let's go. Boom. You have 818 damage with the crossblades. How much DPS did this have? 82.5. Pretty decent. Let's go. Boom. Got our vampire glove. Got our heat out of that because we got the vampire glove. Uh, one our glove, which I could create into stones. Oh, stone gloves. Yes. Stone gloves are a yes. I exactly 15 coins here. Boom, boom, and boom. 
gloves of power are really good for what I'm trying to create. This attack speed definitely should stay where it is. These gloves should go here. Not dragon gloves though. And uh, this can go here. Like this. And I would like the banana to join like up there. So we can just do this. Nice. So we still have two bananas and I also got more stamina start. Therefore I should be able to control everything. I think we're good to go. I think the build is almost done. The gloves are gonna stay where they are. And I'm just gonna get a couple of flames and we're done. I guess one more uh, stone helm wouldn't be nice. It would be nice because the stone helm gives us this starting. For five seconds we take 25% less damage. Oh, we're dying. And we just hit our immunity. Let's see if they are gonna survive until we are no longer immune. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they are definitely not. Uh, 430 something and they did almost nothing. Very nice. So the idea is the following. Ooh, we found a good old Wolping Tiger. So I could put the Wolping Tiger uh, getting the buffs over the banana. And it's cheap, that's why I'm thinking about this. So this thing, Gloves of Power. Start of battle, weapons deal 20% more damage, but attack 10% slower. The 10% slower is irrelevant, as I have so many things that speed this up, so it's almost no downside. The 20% more damage is very good, though. If I, if I was gonna do 300 damage, now it's gonna do 360. It's a big difference. And then weapon hits gain four armor that's the main little trick there that's gonna keep us death immune as this thing gets more and more attack speed the longer the more times it attacks so this thing is gonna give us more and more armor the more the fight goes on um what do i want to get i want i guess the only thing i want to get right now is more one more dragon scale armor and, and i guess as many spike colors as possible on attack speed uh doesn't really fit to be honest like honest honest so we're not gonna go for that. I'm gonna just go for one more protective purse. And otherwise I just want to find my... Um, I could go for a leather boot. Although for actual matter I would like to go either stone helmet. So that I can get the reduced damage taken by 25% for 5 seconds in the start of battle. So if, it, if the first 5 of seconds of the battle I'm death immune. And then in the middle of the battle I'm again 65% of damage taken. I'm not gonna lose. So I think we go for stone helmet. Uh, no, I found Vampirism, Blood Amulet. I don't think I want... No, 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 I, I just either want the helmets or the, the Dragon Scale, that's it. Found part of the helmet. <laughs> this is literally part of the helmet, the Stone Skin Potion. Uh, which I would like to put in the Potion Belt, might as well get a free buff out of that. Reroll for two, I would say no. Wait, one more round? No, the game is over. It's sad, sad times. It's okay though. I mean, we won for sure. One more life to go, and we have two tries. Uh, one more try to go, two lives. Half a second. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. When this guy hits half life, this thing is gonna fire so fast. So fast. We're gonna get destroyed. 102. Okay, they crit as primary two, but it was... No, it wasn't. Oh, this guy has five gemstones of more damage on half life. We're gonna die here now. Ne oh, next it's gonna explode us. Next it is gonna do 250, 300 damage. They didn't. They didn't. We prevented crit, that's why. We won! We won! Let's go! By the way, I think the crystals don't work. Uh, these crystals say when opponents are 30% health, but they hit us for 60 damage. Am I wrong about this? We destroyed them, by the way. How much was my damage? 50 to 54. DPS, 82. This guy's DPS, 60. Yep, stamina cost 3. That was your issue. They also had a very long duration of immunity, but they only had one dragon scale armor. Big mistake. Big mistake having one perfect ruby here. I would have gone with two flawed rubies here. Still really good. 50% crit chance. We negated one crit. Let's actually go into the numbers. 396, 500 on my end. Uh, somewhere around here. Yeah, here. So right here, the opponent should have the damage boost. Which they didn't. If I go over this, it's going to say 50 to 60 still. Um, now, yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 I can even test this. So at some point here, they I had 80 life. When did they hit us again? They hit us again. Uh, here they hit us again. So this here, Rusted Blade. What? Busted Blade, yeah. So this here... At this point, I have less than 30% health. Okay, that's my calculation I'm doing. I have less than 80 is than 30% health because 30% of 350 is uh, 3 times 3, that's 9. So 90 health, 90 something health. Let's say 100, about 100 health is 30% of my health. So here, I there is no way I took 63 damage because this thing was doing... Oh, no, I did take a million damage. 
This is correct. Look at this thing. 211 DPS. Do you know I only took 63? I, I should have gotten critted for 600 damage here. Not 600. Uh, 35. No, uh, 400. I should have gotten critted for 400 damage. But guess what, my boys? First of all, we didn't get crit because I was lucky. And secondly, I had 65% less damage taken. That's what kept us in the game. And then after we heal above 100. Yeah, look at this. At 93, this is doing 210. But at at 105, at 101, I want to see the exact amount. Yeah, at 101, it still was doing... You know what? Close this, close this, bring this over here. So at 101, this is doing 175. At 105, it's doing 50 to 60. So it's exactly 103, I guess. Which is okay. We destroyed them, is what I have to say. We destroyed them easily. My, my my basic weapon carried us. Also had 12 feet and 4 vampirism. So that's nice. This thing's energy cost, 0 0.79. Yeah, we didn't have energy issues. They had energy issues. Their fault, not mine. We won. Easy enough. By the way, the weapon they had was awesome. The build they had was awesome, I would say. I don't know why everybody goes with brass knuckles, though. Um, yeah, that's, that's, my, uh, that's my input on this one. Why go with brass knuckles, first and foremost? And secondly, if you go with brass knuckles, why not have a bunch of dragon claws connected to this? Brass knuckles, so the opponent can't really play when the time comes because this spends zero stamina. This thing spends five stamina, so even empowered, this thing is not possible to fire. Wait a minute, why did this cost five stamina? This is supposed to be empowered over here. It should not have costed uh, cost five stamina. Maybe here it didn't cost five stamina. Nope, still says five stamina cost. Five stamina cost here. Still five stamina cost in the beginning before this guy empowered. Here it says, yeah, look at this, 5 stamina cost, well, stamina cost 1.7 based on attack speed, cooldown 3 seconds. Over here, 5 stamina cost, <laughs> cooldown 0 0.91, <laughs> still 5 seconds, <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, destroyed these guys. The build uh, obviously didn't go well in the early game because crossblades is not really that good in the early game if you don't build it extremely fast. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see something else or a different build, comment down below and tell me about it. Uh, the, the amount of whetstones we collected, we could have also have gone with uh, flame blades, by the way. Like, we could have, have gone with this build, with these guys, burning blades. So I could have crafted burning swords through, you know, two whetstones here for hero sword into the burning sword, then get two flames from the passive and make that into a burning blade, a burning sword, and then get two more whetstones and create the burning blade. So I could have gone with double burning blade build if we wanted to and try to do so, or even a single burning blade build, and then anything else could also have been a build. But honestly, I didn't really do it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I just realized something. Literally right now I've realized that the vampire potion I cried about on the potion build I did a couple of days ago, hopefully card's gonna appear at the top card, right, is craftable. I didn't know this is craftable, I thought this just drops. I, I thought this just drops, meanwhile I have never seen a drop ever. So my mistake for sure. Also I forgot about this thing. Was this doing even everything, anything? I didn't even check if I was gaining enough armor there from that, but I'm pretty sure it did do its job. You guys can attest to that by commenting down below. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.